Chief Meteorologist Marvin Doherty. It's been another warm and sticky day today with a couple of showers around. More heat, more humidity, and more storms are in our forecast for Friday. I'll have all the details coming up with your first alert forecast. Good evening, I'm Anna Holloman. And I'm Dave Jordan. WITN 7 News at 6 starts now. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is WITN 7 News at 6. I, from, from day one, I've been trying to tell the people that I didn't commit these crimes. I've sat in, that, in the Boothville County Jail for one year. Words from a man charged with two sexual assaults in Beaufort County. You'll hear from Doc Watson. And a panel investigating contaminated water at Camp Lejeune decades ago hears from victims and base officials. First up tonight, did the water they drank poison thousands of Marines, sailors, and their families at Camp Lejeune? And why did it take as long as five years to turn off wells that had bad water? Those are two of the issues a fact-finding panel picked by the Marines Commandant want to know. And they're in Jacksonville today and tomorrow to find out. Alan Covey joins us now from Jacksonville with more. Alan? Dave and Anna, the hearings are taking place right across Western Boulevard from the Jacksonville newsroom, where a panel that is itself controversial is hearing from folks who say they are dealing with a chemical time bomb here in Jacksonville. The Commandant's panel is hearing from everyone from former water plant technicians, scientists, and folks who analyzed Lejeune's drinking water, to former Marines and family members who are claiming that solvents discovered there in the 1980s are behind the cancers, birth defects, and other illnesses that they suffer. One vocal critic, local retiree Jerry Ensminger, believes his daughter died because of the water contamination. And while he holds little hope that the panel will take any action, the panel's chairman says they do want to get to the bottom of the problems here at Lejeune. What I said it was all along. Uh, this is nothing more than an attempt to put a Band-Aid over a serious, serious wound. We're, we're moving along in, in, in getting all the facts and the information that we can. We have not done anything in terms of hearing from the public and from the people and the families that were involved. And that's, of course, what the next two days is all about. One key issue for the panel, why it took five years to shut down water wells here at Lejeune. The panel's hearings today and Friday will also give residents and local vocal critics of the Marines' handling of the issue a chance to be heard. The hearings got underway at 4 this afternoon. They'll run until 7 tonight and then start again tomorrow from 10 until noon at Coastal Carolina Community College. Dave, Anna. All right, Alan Covey live in Jacksonville this evening. Fire ripped through four apartments in Greenville this morning. Now four people are looking for a new place to call home. The fire tore through apartments off of River Bluff Drive around 9.20 this morning. Luckily, no one was injured, but all four apartments sustained damage, totaling almost $100,000. The fire was out by around 10.15. The American Red Cross has set up temporary homes for those displaced by the blaze. An Outer Banks man may have been struck by lightning last night. Emergency crews responded to a call in Collington where a local man dialed 911 on his cell phone, claiming to have been struck by lightning. Fire officials say he was seeking shelter from the rain under the first bridge on Collington Road. Responders say there appeared to be an exit wound on his foot. He was taken to Outer Banks Hospital. County Mental Health Department employees all across North Carolina are scrambling to find new jobs before their current ones are slashed when new mental health reforms go into effect. Patrick Moose takes us to a job fair where new opportunities are available right here in Eastern Carolina. Sarah Pickett of Winterville is looking for a new job at the Pitt County Employee Assistance Program's job fair. Her position as a child and family case manager may soon end, all because of new mental health reforms put into place by the state legislature that are calling for the downsizing of employees. With all the divestiture and the layoff of positions here, it really helps a lot for us who are still working here to continue to work in this area and provide for this area and the children and the adults that we reach to keep the services going. One of the organizers of this job fair explains what's behind the downsizing of these employees. Local mental health centers are required to move from being a provider of services to a manager of services, which means that we will be managing more services out in the community, not necessarily providing them within the walls of the mental health center. Pickett is not the only one wondering if she will still have a job. Habilitation specialist and clinical assistant Natisha Sturges also attended the job fair. She says her position will be eliminated next week. To her, this job fair was an eye-opening experience. It's a good opportunity to see what different places, what type of different places as far as drug and alcohol, different hospitals I didn't even know about that are here in East Carolina. 
Both women are hopeful they can find new opportunities that will allow them to stay in Pitt County so they can make a difference in their communities. In Greenville, Patrick Moose, WITN 7 News. Pitt County officials say they will cut their workforce from around 200 jobs down to about 40. With higher temperatures, you usually have higher utility bills. Greenville utility officials say one way to keep your costs down is to simply check the air filter in your air conditioning unit at least once a month. Filters in homes with pets may need to be changed more often. Officials say when choosing an air filter, residents of apartments and townhomes should avoid filters claiming to purify the air. They're not designed for expensive filters. There's all sorts of expensive electrostatic type filters, um, pleated type filters on the market. These systems are not designed for that amount of restriction. These, they're designed for the cheap, now we call them the cheap 99 cent throwaways. The filters designed to purify the air can actually cost you more on your utility bill if they're not compatible with your air conditioning system. When a hurricane hits, there are those people who must answer the thousands of phone calls coming in from those of you who need assistance. To brush up on their phone skills, employees with the Greenville Utilities Emergency Management Plan went through their second annual hurricane simul drill. The simulation provided them with real-world type scenarios. They learned what they need to do or say over the phone when a dealing with a customer. Electric engineering planner John Worrell says Isabel taught them a few lessons that have been implemented into the training session. Yeah, this year we have uh, an improved uh, computer system that will help us identify where the outages are. And we've also upgraded our phone system to assist in some call handling, uh, caller ID information to help with customer contact. This year, forecasters have predicted 12 to 15 tropical storms, with eight of them becoming major hurricanes. The nonpartisan nonprofit group Democracy North Carolina is making a push to register potential voters in Greenville today. The group set up voter registration booths at several locations throughout the city this morning. The registration drive continues until 8.30 tonight. The deadline to register for the July 20th primary is tomorrow. It's being called a day to remember, and it's a chance for kids to try their hand at boat building and water skiing at Lake Christie in Pitt County. And as Jim Martin reports, it's also to help disadvantaged youth. A little elbow grease. That's what these kids are using to build these boats and have a little fun doing it. It's just a day to remember for them that they would not normally have the opportunity to do these things, like riding a boat or to build a boat and to learn to water ski or wakeboard. Among the sponsors of the event, which is being held at Lake Christie in Pitt County through Saturday, Christy Overton Johnson's faith-based foundation In His Wakes, Sequest Kids Education Foundation, and Grady White Boats. It gives them a sense of accomplishment and, and teamwork and, and get them to see them actually paint them and put them in the water and, and race them. It's going to be kind of fun. The children that are here today are with the Building Hope Community Life Center in Greenville, and it's an organization whose sole mission is to add educational and social enrichment to any child that needs it. We provide enrichment activities, reading, math, things like that. We do a variety of um, trips, outings, field trips that allow them some exposure to some things that they may not, you know, otherwise be able to attend. Among those in the group, rising sixth grader Brandon Council. Brandon has been involved with the Building Hope Community Life Center for the last three years. I hope we can come back next year and the year after that, so could we have a lot of fun here. In Pitt County, Jim Martin. WITN 7 News. The kids will also race the boats they build today and be awarded gold medals for their efforts. Your first alert forecast is coming up. Plus, bringing technology to children. Some Eastern Carolina kids will soon be going wireless thanks to a donation. And the search is on. Jacksonville officials start looking for a new police chief. First, a preview of NBC Nightly News at 630. Tonight, the bloodiest day in Iraq in months, with just six days to go until the turnover. Also, an internet spam attack. And new warnings about a drug to lower cholesterol tonight on NBC Nightly News. If you can't be near your TV set, you can still hear WITM 7 News at 6 by tuning your radio to WDLX AM 930, WANG AM 1330, and FM 105.1, or Magic 95.9, the music lover's station.
Here's the thought from the voice of reason. What is peace of mind? Knowing that you got the best value on a new vehicle gives you peace of mind. For over 67 years, Brown & Wood has been offering the people of Eastern North Carolina the best price on the best selection of new GM vehicles every day, period. The concept is simple. The best price every time in a comfortable professional atmosphere. Now that's what I call peace of mind. Listen to the voice of reason. Brown & Wood is Eastern North Carolina's dealer of choice. Hi, Itchy, what's new at Furniture Fair? What's new? Everything's new. A brand new look is on sale right now. And you're invited to come and save big because we're making it fresh and making it fun and making it easy on your budget. All furniture and bedding is interest-free till January 2006 with no minimum purchase requirements and no down payment. Free financing for 19 long months. It doesn't get any better than this, especially with the guaranteed lowest sale prices right now at Furniture Fair. Buyers and sellers are using the Auto Buyers Network on WITNTV.com. We do get some customers that are doing some advanced work on AutoBuyNet and are looking at different sites and looking at the cars there, as well as we get customers who don't even know we exist that wind up coming to our site and then ultimately coming to our dealership. You get to select what you want, you get what you want, the color you want, the style you want, at the price you want. The Auto Buyers Network on WITNTV.com. During the month of June, Dave Davis's East Carolina Chrysler Dodge is expanding. Save thousands on new minivans at the construction sale going on now. Davis marked down the best-selling 2005 Dodge Caravan to just $18,990. Choose from the largest selection of minivans in Eastern North Carolina. And take advantage of these incredible savings. I'm Dave Davis. Remember, minivans cost less here. Get to the construction sale now at Dave Davis's East Carolina Chrysler Dodge on the corner of Memorial Drive and Greenville Boulevard in Greenville. More people in Eastern Carolina get their news from WITN 7 News than any other source. Tonight, an exclusive interview with Doc Watson. The suspect in two sexual attacks sat down today with Meredith White at the Beaufort County Jail to talk about his case. I have a family out there. I have a four-year-old daughter. I just want them to come forth and tell them what really happened. And what really happened, Doc Watson says, is that someone else sexually assaulted a woman in Chocowinity and raped a woman in Washington last year. Recently released DNA testing done by the State Bureau of Investigation did not finger Watson, who is charged with those crimes. Prosecutors remain firm that other evidence proof Watson is the person responsible. Shortly after the second crime, Watson was taken into custody within yards of the scene. I was walking down the road and the sheriff officer stopped me. He stopped me, told me to get down, so I got down, took me to the magistrate office. They said, Doc Watson, we charge you with um, first degree rape first degree attempted rape, kidnapping, robbery. I looked at I was, I was shocked. Watson says he was also shocked when officials told him crime scene evidence from the Chocowinity attack was found in his home. I was away from my house. How did the, the victim's property get in my house, but I wasn't in my house? And then the victim said that I wasn't the person that did it to her. But other witnesses point to Watson as the person who committed the crimes. Watson says a composite created by one of the crime victims actually helps his case. That does not look like me. This is the sketch that the person, the victim herself, made. You don't have to be a scientist to figure this out, man. Watson did have a criminal history when he was arrested. In fact, a warrant was issued for Watson for a parole violation from New York. I'm not running, I'm not running from no murder in New York, no robbery or nothing like that. I don't even have a violent criminal history. Regardless of the past, Watson says he's clear about what his future holds as a September trial date draws near. I know I got a long fight, though. I know that. In Washington, Meredith White, WITN 7 News. Watson is scheduled to go before a Superior Court judge on September 7th. Jacksonville is looking for a new police chief. The city has hired a consultant to help them screen applications for the job being vacated by Ken Bumgarner, who served seven years as Jacksonville's police department chief. City manager Ken Hagen says even though the search will take more time, he hopes to find the right person for one of the city's most important jobs.
my aim. We are obviously having some problem there with that tape, but Hagan will put together a committee to help do final interviews with potential chiefs sometime in August to have a new police chief running the department by September 1st. And joining us now is uh, meteorologist Jay Merrill. You're in for Marvin today, and you brought more rain with you. I did. A couple more showers <laughs> around this afternoon. Unfortunately, not quite as hot as it was yesterday, and those storms not quite as severe as they were last night, which is good news. But more storms, more heat, and more humidity are in our forecast. We'll take a look at that coming up with my first alert forecast, but we made it to 86 this afternoon. Sunset is this evening at 827. You don't have to run all over Eastern North Carolina for your next hot Cooper, Custer, Honda, and Wilson is the low-price volume leader. Civic starting 13671 Finance it for as low as 2.9%. 1.9% ABR on the core. You'll save thousands. We'll make you a customer for life. Cooper, Custer, Honda, in Wilson. Whoa, whoa, Pepperman. I got my own. Is that your cell phone? Yeah. It's got all kinds of features. Like email and text messaging? Mm -hmm. But it's got this. It's Parmesan. It's cheese. That's practical. Do we think alike or what? With Altel Access, you get the things you need. The latest games, ringtones, email, and more. It makes your phone more than a phone. The features you really need? You got that right. Altel. Attention shoppers, there's a Toyota Camry parked in a towaway zone. Now get 1500 cash back on the 2004 Toyota Camry LE. Or sign and drive the 04 Camry LE for just $269 a month for 48 months with absolutely zero due at signing. New KFC Dale Jr. Collectible Buckets. Ten pieces of Jr.'s favorite fried chicken and four biscuits for just $9.99. Dale Jr. Buckets, they're going fast. Grab a bucket, it's race day here in Chicken Capital. Race into KFC and peel off for your chance to win diecast cars, KFC chicken, and more. The grand prize, a weekend trip to California Speedway for the Target House 300 and Pop Secret 500. So race in and peel off at KFC. You don't have to run all over Eastern North Carolina for your next Honda. Hubert Vester Honda and Wilson is the low-price volume leader. CRVLX from 229 per month. According XV6 286 per month. Let us save you thousands. And we'll make you a customer for life. Hubert Vester Honda in Wilson. Get your WITN7 first alert weather forecast featuring live Doppler 7 throughout the day on your country 95.1 WRNS and Bob 93.3, today's best music. And now your WITN7 first alert forecast with Jamie Arnold. Well, the month of June has been an interesting one across eastern Carolina. Every single Friday this month, we have seen severe weather across eastern Carolina, June 4th. Friday, June 11th, Friday, June 18th, last Friday. How about tomorrow, Friday, June 25th? Well, wouldn't you know it, we do have the threat for some isolated severe thunderstorms across eastern North Carolina late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening as another cold front begins to approach from the west. Could be looking at a few of those storms producing some damaging wind gusts, a lot of rain, and a lot of lightning as well. Now, fortunately, across eastern Carolina this evening, things are nice and quiet with the exception of a couple of showers and a few spots. Otherwise, temperatures running into the upper 70s to lower 80s. As we take a look at live Doppler 7 radar in and around Kinston, picking up a couple of showers this evening, also up towards Grifton, extending down towards Newburn. Newburn, you're dry at the moment, but you did see some shower activity not too long ago. We'll take you down towards the Crystal Coast. And for down east Carteret County, extending back towards Pamlico County, also picking up some showers. And across the northern Outer Banks, just to the north of Cape Hatteras, getting some shower activity this evening. All these showers working their way off to the east at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. No severe weather out there now, and none is expected for the rest of the night tonight. Let's take a look now at live pinpoint weather. We'll take you to Kinston, 80 degrees with calm winds and 99% humidity. Our next stop will take us to Goldsboro, 74 degrees there, two-tenths of an inch of rainfall for today. Our next stop will take us to, I think, Greenville, 80 degrees, no rainfall there with calm winds and 76% humidity. And our final stop will take us to Washington, 79 degrees, and so far for today, a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Now, I mentioned a cold front beginning to approach the area for Friday. Out ahead of it, plenty of heat and humidity will give us a good chance of scattered thunderstorms developing during the afternoon. 
the best chances will be for our inland sections, but I do think just about all of us stand that good shot at some hefty thunderstorms. Temperature-wise, a bit warmer than today with a bit more sunshine. Temperatures will work their way into the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees, with the exception of the coastline, where temperatures there will be held down into the middle to upper 80s thanks to the sea breeze. So your forecast overnight tonight, 72 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, a few showers early, mainly before midnight, otherwise light and variable winds. Your regional forecast for the inland areas for Friday, that 60% chance of storms, especially in the afternoon, high temperatures around 88 degrees. As you move further east away from that front, those chances of rain decrease to 50% for Greenville, Washington, New Bern, and Jacksonville, but hot and humid, up around 90 degrees. And for the Outer Banks and the Crystal Coast, a 40% chance of storms, highs there into the middle 80s. Down at the beaches, a few showers, especially this evening, otherwise light northwesterly winds at 10 to 15 knots. Seas running 1 to 2 feet on the sounds, 3 to 4 feet offshore. And as we take a look at the extended forecast, that good chance of storms for Friday. Another round likely late Saturday as the front finally pushes through. That dries us out briefly for Sunday before, wouldn't you know it, another front moves close to the area on Monday, giving us another good shot at some thunderstorms. But we can bank on plenty of humidity all the way through Tuesday. Anna, Dave? All right, thanks, Jamie. Sports is next. Sports director Billy Weaver will take us back out to Lake Christie in Greenville, where some area kids learn to water ski from a world champion. Right now, you can get the Ford you've always wanted with over 80,000 vehicles in stock. Get 0% financing or $2,500 cash back on Ford Mustang, the original American pony car. During Ford's Get What You Want sales event, get the Mustang you want with 0% financing or $2,500 cash back. Hurry and get what you want now before the great Mustang selection is all gone. 0% or 2500 cash back. Drop into your Carolina Ford dealer during the Get What You Want sales event. Remember when you had to get up to change the channel on your television? Remember when you had to see a teller to get money at the bank? Remember when you had to think about minutes when you talked on your cell phone? Now Suncom offers flat rate calling with Unplanned. Pay the same $50 every month and all your calling is free. Guaranteed. It's the end of wireless as you know it. We're Suncom and we get it. Are you afraid to answer the phone because of bill collectors? A Chapter 13 plan can help. Chapter 13 allows people with too many bills to work out a debt repayment plan under federal law. It helps you control your debts instead of your debts controlling you. Chapter 13 stops creditors from harassing you and stops repossessions and foreclosures. It allows you to answer the phone again without fear or worry. Call H. Frank Allen, attorney at law, for more information about Chapter 13. One thing you can always count on is Greenville Toyota to heat up your summer during the annual summer sales event. Enjoy the comfort and versatility of the Toyota Highlander or the ultimate SUV, the Toyota 4Runner. The understated luxury of the Camry will get you where you want to go and the beach will never be the same when you head out in your all-new Tundra truck. Add a little sunshine and you're ready for the summer good times to roll. Make your summertime dream come true during the big summer sales event going on now at GreenvilleToyota.com. Highway 11 across from the mall. You come see us. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Sports Director Billy Weaver. World-class water skier and Greenville native Christy Overton-Johnson is spending the weekend giving back to the community. Christy is hosting a three-day event in Greenville aimed at spreading a positive message to young kids. This afternoon, children from the Building Hope Community Life Center got a chance to learn wakeboarding and skiing from one of the best. Christy says nothing measures up to the feeling of helping shape a young child's life. These kids love it. This is the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I mean, world championships, world titles don't even compare to the smile on these kids' faces. They go from totally afraid to even step in the water to skimming across the lake. And I've never seen a kid not get up in three tries. And so we make them keep trying, and they see if they do that, they succeed. And they're able to take that success into other areas in their life. Hello, my name is Kim. Will you mind if I skied a little? Chandler, we don't mind at all, buddy. You can see Chandler in some great water skiing action Saturday at 1.30 at Lake Christie in Greenville. And, of course, the event is free of charge. The NASCAR Nextel Cup Series heads to Sonoma this Sunday for the Dodge Save Mart 350. Alex Radow has more news and notes from the world of racing in this week's NASCAR Minute.
Multi-car teams like Hendrick Motorsports and Roush Racing are dominating the Nextel Cup scene, making the one-car teams a thing of the past. But Ken Schrader says, not so fast. I think some of the times uh, what people make up of the multi-car effort isn't as big advantage as you think because there's not a lot of them that have been run real efficiently and and have where the teams have really worked together until the last couple of years. Now, when they get the, you get them multi-car teams and they really are working together, then there's quite a bit of advantage there. You just have the uh, the resources, the personnel, uh, the budget. You can just uh, allows you to do quite a bit more. Schrader knows his situation as a one-car team presents an uphill battle when it comes to winning a race. But he takes comfort in knowing there are some things he doesn't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about getting uh, railroaded from the back, you know, because uh, one, of, one of your good teammates is working against you, which we have seen that happen in the past. With the NASCAR Minute, I'm Alex Radow. The NBA's amateur draft will take place tonight in New York City. The Orlando Magic has the first overall pick. Orlando is likely to take high school phenom Dwight Howard. That would give the Charlotte Bobcats a clear shot at this guy, UConn center Emeka Okafor, as the second pick in the draft. The Bobcats reportedly have also spent a portion of this week trying to find a way to select St. Joseph's point guard, Jameer Nelson. We'll, of course, let you know who goes where tonight at 11 o'clock. There won't be an all-Williams final at Wimbledon this year. Two-time champion Venus Williams is out of the field. After being upset in the second round today, she lost in straight sets to Croatia's Carolina Sprem, 7-6 and 7-6. The 19-year-old outplayed Williams on center court in the first major surprise of this year's championships. Tonight at 7 o'clock, South Carolina and Cal State Fullerton will look to punch their tickets to the national baseball title. And speaking of national titles, Florida State's two Waterford Crystal National Championship football trophies have been stolen. They had been kept in a locked case outside of Coach Bobby Bowden's office. A school official says there are no surveillance cameras in that area and the trophies were not insured. Dave and Anna. All right, thanks, Billy. Learning goes wireless at one school in Eastern Carolina. First, a preview of WITN 7 News at Sunrise. Good evening. Coming up tomorrow on WITN 7 News at Sunrise, we'll have some musicians in the house who say they're definitely not past their prime. You'll see what I mean tomorrow. Also, a patriotic concert is coming up. And meteorologist Jim Howard will tell you all about his first alert forecast for your weekend. So start your day tomorrow with WITN 7 News at Sunrise at 5.30. Here's what's coming up tonight on WITN 7's Must See TV. Help save Social Security. Just whatever you can afford. A lot of zeros on that one. Thank you. We got to watch. We'll take the horse. Help save Social Security. <laughs> Help save Social Security. Jewelry is great. Thank you. Hi. Giving time. Those earrings are awfully nice. Thank you so much. It's a great cause. We can all benefit from it. Thank you. Help save Social Security. I see you got some paintings. If one person could do it alone, the world wouldn't need an ARP. Hi, Itchy. What's new at Furniture Fair? What's new? Everything's new. A brand new look is on sale right now. And you're invited to come and save big because we're making it fresh and making it fun and making it easy on your budget. All furniture and bedding is interest-free till January 2006 with no minimum purchase requirements and no down payment. Free financing for 19 long months. It doesn't get any better than this, especially with the guaranteed lowest sale prices right now at Furniture Fair. No matter where you live in Eastern Carolina, all roads lead to the lead. Save thousands during our year-end clearance 10 event. We slash prices on the largest selection of GM vehicles in the area. Plus, take advantage of rebates up to $5,000 or get financing as low as 0% for 60 months. But hurry, our clearance 10 event ends July 5th at Leakey Chevrolet Pontiac Buick, Highway 264 West in Washington. Here's an honest question. If we don't scream and shout or pound on the hood, and we offer you a great car with award-winning quality, rated a first for safety, that gets nearly 30 miles per gallon highway. For a car like that, would you expect this? The 2004 Buick LeSabre. Now current GM owners get 5,000 cash back, making a LeSabre Custom available starting at around 21.6. See your Buick dealer. 
students at some local schools are going wireless. The media center at Beaufort County Community College was presented with a check for over $11,000 from the Beaufort Hyde County Partnership for Children. School officials say the funding will be used to purchase seven new laptops for students enrolled in the online child care program called Laptops for Learners. The students will receive laptops for two semesters. They will have to have been in the program for 12 to 15 hours. So we wanted to make sure they were dedicated to students and that they were dedicated and interested in staying in the program. The laptops will be available for students August 17th, the first day classes start at Beaufort Community College. And some showers still moving across the area. A couple more showers in our forecast overnight tonight. Nothing severe, nothing extremely heavy. Just some run-of-the-mill garden variety showers out there this evening. Much better chance of some strong storms coming up for tomorrow afternoon. All right, thanks, Jamie. Thank you for joining us this evening. NBC Nightly News is coming up next. We'll see you back here tonight at 11 o'clock.